welcome back in this video tutorial i'm going to cover the sedimented rocks remember the three categories mechanically formed we have organically formed and the chemically formed sedimentary rocks how are mechanical sedimentary rocks formed these rocks are formed from the sediments which result from the weathering of existing rocks when existing rocks are weathered down those sediments are transported down the slope and as they are transported either by water or wind or moving ice and they will be deposited at the lowlands whereby because of the weight of the materials here the sediments will undergo the process of lithification these sediments once they are deposited there they pile up with time in layers and eventually they build up such that the weight of the overlying rocks is so high that then they start undergoing lithification whereby the sediments are compressed to produce a rock with different layers which is a sedimentary rock this is how they form a mechanically formed sedimentary rock examples are the sandstone and the clay stone we also have the chemically formed sedimentary rocks these are rocks which are formed through chemical processes and they are of two types one let's look at the process in which we have uh, evaporation leading to formation of sedimentary rocks when it rains in hot areas of course we shall have infiltration percolation the usual process surface runoff overland flow and that water will move into the lakes for example in lake magadi in kenya the water flows over the rocks dissolving all the rock salts there and then the water is in form of the solution of sodium salts then because of the high temperatures the water will evaporate when the water evaporates it leaves behind crystals of salt leading to formation of the rock salt this is how actually trona is formed in lake magadi alternatively we can have different waters from different rivers mixing in a water body and when they mix because they are having different minerals we have a chemical reaction because of those different minerals when we have a chemical reaction we have formation of precipitates that precipitate is now the cause of the sediments which can settle down at the bottom of the water body get compressed and compacted leading to formation of sedimentary rocks then the third category of sedimentary rocks are the organic sedimentary rocks which are formed organically how do they form we have remains of plants and animals which when are buried over long time and they are compressed they lead to formation of a rock the plant remains which will be buried over time and compressed they lead formation of peat which after further compression this will graduate into coal which is formed organically we say it's organic because the sediments which are forming the sedimentary rock are organic in nature we also have this other category of organic sedimentary rocks they are these funny creatures in the oceans known as the uh, sea polyps the sea polyps extract the lime from the sea water and when they extract the lime they use that lime to build up their shells and as they build their shells they lead to formation of these rocks known as coral reefs these creatures can extract the lime from seawater then they use the lime to make their shells when they die those shells the remains will now form what we call now the coral rocks basically or mostly known as the 
coral reefs. That's why the sea polyps are actually known as the reef builders, because they are the ones which form those kind of coral reefs. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel.